All right, tonight we're going to look at uh, Herbrand BF34 and BF33 spoons. So these are uh, for doing body work on older vehicles. Like the earliest catalog I've seen them in is a 1952 catalog, but it's quite possible they've been around before that. So uh, let's see if we can get the uh, name to come up. There, I think I can see it. So hopefully you can see it better than me. So this is a 34. So I'm going to post a link to a catalog here after I film this. So this uh, tool from tip to tip is about 20 inches long. Then the uh, 33, also about 20 inches long. So you can see that they've got long spoons here so you can reach into different locations on vehicles. So it's really up to your imagination how you are going to use them. So let's take the camera off the stand here and uh, take a look at the doors on my vehicle so you can see how you might use them. So this is the, uh, the 34 here. So if you wanted to knock a dent out of this panel, you would need to reach in from the inside with a, a dolly or a spoon or something. So that's where this comes into play. So you can actually reach in and get to the uh, corner of the door skin. Can't go all the way up. The glass is in the way anyway right now. You can reach down just about to the bottom of the door skin here. So that's uh, the concept for that tool. Take a look at this door here. So this one's being caved in and then they just filled it with mud. I guess that made sense at the time. So this door has got a bit better access. So you may not need this tool for it. You put it in here. You can reach different ways. They also advertise it as a pry bar. Then I'll take a look at the front fenders for this car. So if you uh, put this in, sorry, I'm having find, trouble finding myself, into the back of the fender, I think you could use it as a support to do work on it. So that's more or less uh, the concept for this tool. I just picked up a, a planishing hammer. It's the same as uh, Harbor Freight. I think this one came from Princess Auto. I got it used. So there's not much to say about it. I won't be doing a video other than you can fill them with sand. I'm trying to figure out how to do that because the, uh, they're not watertight. So they're not sand tight either. So i got to come up with a solution for that. So I'm going to take a, a look at the profiles. The 33 in the back. You can see the spoon flips. I don't know if they meant to do that to complement each other or what the situation is. Anyway, I was able to just ran into these by chance. I wasn't looking for them, but uh, I never turned down uh, tools that are offered to me. So anyway, thank you for watching.